Hey everybody, we're looking at and we're back to play Hive Swap Friend Sim. And last time we were going after uh, am Amnesia. I don't know. And we're going to. We're still on volume two of Aesthetics Crimson and Otherwise. You stumble through the streets of a strange alien world. Ever since you crash landed on this hostile planet, you have been desperate. Desperate for information, for provisions, and possibly for a bit of medical attention. Along the way, you've had some laughs, embarrassing missteps, and maybe even an encounter with an alien meat products. You don't really want to get into it. What you do want to get into is... Friendship. An entire planet of endless friend opportunities awaits you. Honestly, at this point, you'd make friends with one of those weird purple bushes... You're not picky. Wait, you see something in the distance, or perhaps someone. And now we are going for this person who's, uh, I don't know how to say their name. Let me check. Because I know that if I say it wrong, a lot of people will be angry because this is the vaporwave babe, apparently. Sarava Parish. Sarava? Sarava Parish. Okay, Sarava. Sarava Hermod. Yes, a potential new friend approaches, and they almost look as messed up as you are. Well, what the fuck happened? Hell <laughs> no. You an alien? You nod enthusiastically. You sure hope your prospective friend is. What? Your prospective new friend is comfortable with extraterrestrials. Things could get pretty awkward otherwise. You should really, like, not be outside, old male. Freaks like you will get picked off by drones in a hot second. No offense, old male. You don't like the sound of being picked off by drones. That would really inhibit your companionship plans. You hastily explain to the strange one-eyed troll that you crash landed on this planet and are in desperate search of friendship. Your plight seems to move them. Well, shit. If you really don't have anywhere to be... Ugh. I promised myself I wouldn't do anything cold risky. But what the hell. M.A.O. L.M.A.O. Go with me. Name's Sarava, by the way. BTW. You follow Sarava. It was Sarava, right? <laughs> Whatever. You follow Sarava down a twisting stretch of road. Wow, this is going great already. You bet you'll have a new friend in no time. Alright, here's my hive. You can head out here for now. I got a lot of followers who are pretty into aliens. They might get a kick out of this. LMAO. You look around Sarava's hive in awe. They sure seem to have a batshit crazy taste in home decor. Also, I was wrong. It's not vaporwave. It's uh, something else wave. But yeah. Checking out my aesthetic. I worked pretty hard putting this into place together. It's about the look in the BG when you're streaming, LMAO. I don't want my fans to think I live in a fucking dump and spend most of my time, my days depressed and crying, LMAO. You like Moisture Wave? That was it. What the fuck is Moisture Wave? Yeah, I love it. Okay, let's save here. I'm gonna do the bad one first because I think that, yes, I'm gonna overwrite the save. I'm pretty sure the what the fuck is Moisture Wave is gonna be like the bad end. So. Seriously. If you don't even know Moisture Wave, I like can't really see why you wouldn't want to be friends with me. Oh man. You would want to be friends with me. Oh man. Because, to be honest, I don't even know how to explain it to you. You just have to like get it. Strava considers you for a long moment. Actually, yeah. This isn't going to work out. Get out of my hive. <laughs> yep. 
thrown out and I'm gonna be called by drones. <laughs> Is it still called calling if it's not troll? Oh yeah, I love it. You have no idea what the hell a moisture wave is, but you don't want to offend your new friend, you tell them you love it. Word. I'm actually streaming some chill beats as we speak. Check it. You get, um, you, they gesture toward the strangely bulbous alien computer on the screen is a grub tube channel. Lofi, aesthetic. Incubated beats. Just a bunch of peace signs, too. I like how they made him gray. Well, they sure have a lot of subscribers. You ask them if they drew that nice anime, that very nice anime girl they're using as the splash art. Nah, I just ripped it off some Eastern Alternian movie and recolored it to look like me. Fucking nailed it, LMAO. You nod vigorously. This is very impressive. Yeah, I'm kind of a big fucking deal online. I built up my own streaming empire. Worked my ass off, LMAO. Nurse these beats to health through from tragically ill sampled loops. It's not all fun and games, though. The life is a popular online guy. You can't even imagine the hardships I've gone through. I feel like this is the worst voice I ever chose, but okay. On the name of Lofi Chill Hop Aesthetic Moisture Wave Beats. That shit keeps me that shit that shit keeps me up at night. Sarabo looks into the middle distance pensively, their one eye filled with poignant emotion. You never knew the life of a streamer would be so vaguely filled with torment. Your move to cry a single tear. Yeah. You get it. You're really vibing on my emotional frequency, my dude. You know, you got you gotta suffer for popularity. That's intense. You nod enthusi enthusiastically. You don't think you've ever been particularly popular, but you're very good at suffering. This is going great. <sighs> Sigh. Are you, are you saying sigh or actually sighing? I don't know. <laughs> I, I wish I could say more. Really? Get all emotionally vulnerable and share my tragic backstory? But ever since... The incident... It's been hard. It's so hard to trust new people. Oh, my own. You feel me? The incident... This is so tantalizing, you just know that if you want to make a new friend, you're going to have to get them to confess their deepest insecurities and embarrassing secrets to you. That is how friendship works, right? <laughs> you place a sympathetic hand on s how do you say their names? Saravas? I forgot how to say it already. Shoulder. You know what, dude? You really want to be friends? Yes. Yes! You can't believe how pain-free and easy this experience has been. What a wonderful new friend you're about to make. You can practically feel the future grow embrace embraces you two will surely share. They feel good. They feel right. I'm gonna f How do I- I need to check again. <laughs> Scrolling down. Which one was it? Sarava Parish. Sarava. Okay. Keeping that up in case I need to do it again. Ha. <laughs> you sure are eager. But like, if we're gonna be friends, we have got to work on your look. Your aesthetic is basically hot garbage right now. LMAO. My followers can't see me hanging out with a fucking rando like this. I'm sure you understand. You aren't quite sure you follow? What's wrong with your look? You've always thought you had a simplistic charm. A face you could put on a logo. You're not sure if you're ready to change up the tried and true classics for this newfangled teen. But 
You are so thirsty for Sarava's sweet friendship nectar. Please don't call it a nectar. <laughs> you need to taste it. You have to taste it. With a friend like them, you could really go places. You could be someone. Okay. I don't like that you called it a nectar. Also, is that a bong in the corner? <laughs> also, I don't know if that's supposed to be food or um, the things from fanfiction. <laughs> also, are they? Is that one of their videos? Or are they recording at this moment? I think it's just a different setup and that might just be the splash thing. Whatever. You could finally be down with the hip youth of today. <laughs> you tell Suraba you're willing to try anything to get into the esteemed ranks of their friend list. Well, damn. Hold up. I've got an idea. LMAO. Follow me. Sarava leads you up to the winding stairs of their hive. Lining the walls are pictures of Sarava in strange poses in several different locations. They are surrounded by a few trolls you don't recognize in similar silly fashions. Fellow members of the Moishu Wave community. Sigh. I still don't know if you're saying sigh or if you're actually sighing. I really gotta take that shit down. They're all dead to me, LMAO. You want to ask if they mean that literally or not. You never know with trolls, but you keep your mouth shut. Best not to offend your new friend. Let's just move on and never speak of this again. I feel like you're gonna kill me. Strava leads you to a fairly large loft bedroom. This room is a bit less ostentatious than the streaming area downstairs. I can see that. Well, here we are, all male. Welcome to my race respite block. Uh, where we're gonna get you hooked up, all male. Uh, if you're gonna be my new friend, you gotta look the part. <laughs> For streams and stuff, you know. Well, have you make? Well, have to make you a chitter account too. Chitter. Oh, Twitter. That's what it is. It's good for my image to have friends, LMAO. The pickings have been pretty slim ever since the incident. Oh, on that ominous note, Sarava presses a button on the wall and a large door opens and reveals an expansive walk-in walk closet filled with colorful accessories and clothes. It looks like a regular batshit neon shirt apocalypse. <laughs> It doesn't look very neon for the shirts that I see, but I mean, it is walk-in, apparently. <laughs> Even though it doesn't look it. The shelf, though, those hats. Hashtags. Well, have at it. Unless you want me to help you pick out a look. Hello, ma'am. I'm gonna just save this. Uh, pick out my own look, because I know this is going to be bad. Pick out my own look. You let Sarava let, uh, know you are perfectly comfortable picking out your own look. You think you can figure out the, his fashion business easy enough. What could possibly go wrong? This is a child's play. Yeah, man. Fashion is just all about, like, what you're feeling. And also what's trending, but, you know, we're the ones that start the trends. You strike me as a real influencer. Oh, ma'am. Go for it, my dude. You enter the closet attentively. As soon as Sarava is out of sight, your stupid ego deflates like a farting balloon. You don't know the first thing about the hip youth alien fashion of today. This is going to be an absolute shit show. You reckon you are fully prepared to make an utter fool of yourself. Well, might as well get started. You pick a few accessories off of the shelves at random. Bright pink hat? Sure. You tilt it jauntily to the side. You're pretty sure that's cool? Sunglasses? Definitely. That's a no-brainer. You no cool guy would be caught dead without a sweet pair of shades. You select the most ostentatious pair available. You think you're getting the hang of this moisture wave aesthetic. You just have to look like the biggest tool possible. <laughs> 
several accessories later. Wait. <laughs> okay, I love that face on the shirt. <laughs> oh. My. Fuck. This shit is transcendent. Oh, I thought it would be bad. Wow. You got me speechless. Just. Damn. Look at you. It's like you're a whole new guy. A much chiller and cooler guy who I now gotta be friends with. With. Right now. Immediately. Now all we gotta do is debut you to my hundreds and thousands of followers. LMAO. This is gonna be fucking great. Let's get some selfies. Your heart is soaring. You did it. You really did it. You're down with the kids. And now Saraba wants to take the coveted selfies with you. This night couldn't be going any better. You may look like a complete asshole, but if it can win you popularity with a bunch of alien teenagers, then an asshole you will be. Selling out is amazing. Well, what are you waiting for? Get over here. We're gonna take some... fees. Okay, then. You pose with... Ugh. I'm mixing up voices now. You pose with Sarava for several selfies. They put their arm around you in a gesture of newly formed friendship. You are beaming with friend pride. Oh, hell yeah. These are turning out great. Damn. We're killing it. Now I gotta do is post them. Sarava fiddles around with their phone for a while. They're so nervous. You, well, you're so nervous. They're not nervous. You are. You're the nervous wreck right now. That's why you can't even read. You've never been internet famous before. You hope the new fame won't change you too much. Or maybe you do hope it will change you. Change you into someone with tons of friends. And the likes are rolling in. Oh yes. I live for this shit. Ha. Huh. This one guy is asking if you want any of your quadrants filled. Oh, and this girl loves your shades. Damn, a lot of people are asking if you're single, LMAO. Don't go for it, though. My followers are fucking freaks, dude. You aren't quite sure what filling a quadrant is. Sounds like some kind of fucked up alien ritual. But if it's anything like friendship, you are all for it. I am sorry for disappearing. <laughs> people were fighting, I guess. Welcome to my twisted internet fame, LMAO. <laughs> Let's chill out and listen to some beats. You vape? I got a pretty juicy rig downstairs. <laughs> Before you know it, you're sitting on Sarava's couch, watching them finagle with a horrifying elaborate vape rig that appears to be made out of some sort of living larva. Larvae. You don't want to know. Yeah, okay. Sarava places their mouth on what surely must be a bug anus and inhales deeply. <laughs> the rig makes an awful high-pitched rattling noise. You think you're going to vomit. Gross. Definitely gross. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, man. That's the good stuff. Here you go, dude. You take the trembling insect into your hands. Well... Here goes, your final hurdle to external friendship and popularity. You vape vigorously, <laughs> inhaling as much as you can. The vapor fills your lungs immediately. It burns a lot. You suddenly realize that you're not quite sure if this alien vape juice is compatible with your anatomy. You could have just inhaled a bug ass filled of poison just like a fucking idiot. What a way to die. Your vision swims. Yeah, you got it? And just hold it in, LMAO. Tears stream down your face as you hold in your double lungful of insect gas. You sure are glad you have on your pair of cool shades, or you would never be able to live in this embarrassment down. <laughs> Not sure how long you're supposed to do this, as long as it takes. Uh, you can exhale now. You cough and sputter, green vapor spewing out of your mouth straight into sir Sarava's face. You did it. You lived. <laughs> oh man, that was sick. Your head feels light and woozy. Oh my god. 
and you giggle. Haha, <laughs> yeah, the two of you kick back and relax on the couch, and you stare up at the ceiling. Whoa, when did the huge wasp nest get there? Haha, <laughs> crazy, man. What does that say? Sarava's music suddenly sounds a lot more interesting. Dude, today has been way chillier than I ever expected. I love my out. Oh, look, a horse. Does it have no eyes? Oh, well. You are officially my best friend for life. Just promise me you'll never betray me. LMAO. You promise? This is incredible. You love your new friend. You watch as they effortlessly take another huge rip from their vape rig. I've been burned in the past. LMAO. It's not easy being popular online. Especially as a low blood. I used to be such a fucking big shot. Got into sassy fights with high bloods on chitter. Always had some shit to say, LMAO. Then shit got out of control. As a psionic, I'm a psionic, so bitches started reporting me as way more powerful than I really am, LMAO. Trying to get me all enslaved and shit so I couldn't keep up with my streams. It's all jealousy, you know. My stupid ass friends all turned on me so they wouldn't be targeted next, LMAO. So I took matters in my own hands. Gouged out my fucking eye. It was sick as fuck. Can't use me as a battery, bitch. I still got a big following, but I don't really talk online anymore. Help me out. Better just to stay under the radar and not piss people off. Just be chill. And if I don't get my get close to my followers, they can't try to use me. Of course, that just means I no longer have any goddamn friends. Help me out. Well, until you. You are truly moved. What a special bond you have formed with your new friend, to have them open up to you about their darkest secrets. This is the most significant, transient moment you have ever experienced. The two of you share a beautiful and tender bro embrace, the likes of which will never be replicated in this known universe again, for all time, forever, probably. You don't really know, you're high as fuck right now. Hi, Tom. <laughs> okay, so that was the good ending, I suppose. Okay, now we're gonna load back up. I'm scared to know what the other ending is if we don't smoke, then. I'll let Sarava help you with your look. Are they gonna say it's lame and then you kick me out for what you did? You admit you have no idea how to dress yourself. You could really use some expert advice from a teen. Oh shit. Cue the makeover sequence, bitch. I'm gonna make you look aesthetic as fuck, LMAO. Oh, you stand in the center of Sarava's closet for a good hour as they go back and forth between various fashion items. Man, this troll is really indecisive. You think you're gonna go blind from all the neon in here. Hmm. Okay. I'm not, LMAO. Oh, that was surprisingly hard. You have a hard to dress body, LMAO. Just in general, you're kind of fucked up looking, to be honest. It's chill, though. Because now you look fly as hell. You look at yourself in the mirror. <laughs> okay. Iconic. Now we just gotta get you set up in the social medias, my dude. But first, selfie time, LMAO. You took a variety of cool selfies with Surava. Wow, this is really going well. I, I'll just post these and promo you. You'll be internet famous in no time. Then we can finally be friends, LMAO. That's what it's all about, baby. That's what you've been working toward this entire time, Surava's friendship is so close, you can smell it. It smells pretty dank. Hmm. Seems like people are really into you. Check it out. It's true. Like The likes and comments are, and subscriptions are just rolling in. Huh. At this rate, you'll be more popular than me. 
You assure Sarava that this will definitely never happen. All they truly desire is friendship, not fans. That's what they all say. All my so-called friends. They were only in it because I was popular. No one ever gave a shit about me as a person, Elamea. I'm just a funny meme to them. Just a guy they can copy. You know high bloods aren't always stealing my work, my look, my music. I'm the real influencer, but there's violet bloods out there taking my shit and getting twice the followers and tons of money. And I'm stuck here, in this shitty hive, with no friends, because they all turn on me. But it's cool. It's chill. I'm totally chill with it, <laughs> LMAO. Something shifts in Sarava's expression as they get a good look at you. You tense up. Your new friend sure is acting weird. Are you gonna kill me? Ding! Sarava checks the notifications on their phone. What the hell did you do? What? Huh? You didn't do anything. You think you can just steal my luck and get away with it? All my followers think you're the new big thing because you look like me. They want to know what the hell is going on. When's your new friend's stream? What's their sign? Are you kidding me? You haven't even done anything. You're just like all the rest. No. No, you don't want to be like all of the rest. You just want to be friends. It's too late for that now. You've made me look like a fucking idiot. And now there's only one thing to do. I really didn't want it to come to this. You're gonna kill me. But you've left me with no choice. I'm writing a call out post. Oh, okay. <laughs> no! <laughs> Sarava types furiously on their device. You can't stand to look. This is the worst possible thing that could have happened. Now, no one will be your friend ever again. You'll be forced to live on the outskirts of society. A uh, something. You can't even begin to imagine the things that Sarava must be writing about you. You must have fucked up so many things in your life to lead you to this point. There's only one thing to do. You stagger downstairs, past all the portraits of Saravas' ex-friends. You wonder if they met the same horrible fate as you. Their grinning faces taunt you with slivers of friendship that could never be. You burst out of the front door of Saravas Hive and make your way to a convenient place stumped. You sit on it in complete despair. There's no point living anymore. With trembling hands, you reach inside. Oh no. Well, that was a terrible note to end this video on. Um. <laughs> I'm sorry. Comment, like, subscribe. <laughs> it feels bad to say this after that happened. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Keep gaming and hopefully you don't make the same choices as me. <laughs>